Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo laptop. This particular one is a Lenovo IdeaPad 330-17IKB model. And in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how you can upgrade the mechanical drive to an SSD drive to improve a lot the performance. Because of the bottleneck on this system is the hard drive because we have a really good CPU and GPU but the mechanical hard drive is just not doing the job right. So by putting a solid state drive you're going to increase the speed by big margin. I'll leave the link in the description for some of the best SSDs you can find out there and some, uh, some consumer level low grade ones if you want to but I really recommend you to grab the Samsung versions model the SSDs, those are the ones that last you much longer than any other SSDs but if you want something cheaper go with a Kingston or uh, a Data. Alright, the tool that you're going to be needing to do this process is a screwdriver set I use the iFixit tool set as they have all the bits that you need for all the projects that you want to do. And from this tool set, we're going to be using the Philips number zero. You're going to be needing an opening tool. You can buy an opening tool that comes with an iFixit, iFixit tool set pro version, or you can just grab a simple guitar pick, metallic guitar pick. These all have a really soft edges and you will not be able to scratch the laptop with these ones. All right, so let's get it. Obviously, you need a hard drive. So let's get into it and let's get it started. First thing first, you want to power off completely the computer. Make sure it's not a hibernate or standby or anything like that. And again, before we do this, if you want to clone your main hard drive to a solid state drive, I'll leave the link in the description for a program that you can use the, with the program. You can just clone your main hard drive to the SSD drive. And the way you can do that is by grabbing one of these adapters. These are the SATA adapter to the USB 3 adapters. So what you want to do, grab the SSD drive, plug it in here, and put it to your, connect it to your laptop, and download the program, and then just follow simple instruction inside the program. It says clone the main hard drive to this one right here. It will take about 20 minutes. Once the cloning is done, then that's it. You just want to replace it and the system is going to boot up just the way it's supposed to be. But again, I, my recommendation would be to install the Windows freshly installed. But in case some people don't want to install the Windows, reinstall it. You can just clone your main drive to the SSD drive. All right, so let's get it started. At the bottom cover of the laptop, there's a whole bunch of screws. We're going to go ahead and remove all the screws at the bottom cover. And remember that all these screws are the same size and height, so you cannot mismatch them. So go ahead and remove all of them. Also, I just want to thank you guys for supporting the channel and subscribing. I only realized that there's only 1% of them, my viewers actually subscribe. It would be a really nice uh, thing to do if you guys could subscribe and click like button if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out. That would be a really nice thing. And also I can take requests and question your, uh, answer your questions. All right, now that we removed all the screws at the bottom cover, next thing is to pull out the DVD drive out, just by pulling it outwards. Now you wanna grab the opening tool that you have and you wanna stick it between the top and the bottom cover, just like that. And you just want to twist it and separate the top and the bottom cover. And you want to do this all around to the side by the DVD drive. Go all the way to the back, to the corners. And that's it. Once you see this side is coming up, what you want to do, you want to lift it up slowly and push it towards the I.O. side. So just work it around and push it towards the I.O. side and you will release all the rest of the this side of course all right <clears throat> and down here you can see the mechanical hard drive is right here is one terabyte a seagate drive and this laptop does not have for any m.2 slot available so the only thing you can upgrade to it's a 
mechanical drive to an solid state SATA drive. They do actually have the connector right here, but they didn't put the jack or anything to put in an M.2 slot here. Uh, what can you do? All right, to remove the hard drive, you do not need to remove the battery or anything like that. But if you want to remove the battery just by pulling this jack backward, but it's not necessary. The hard drive has a little clip at the back end here. So you want to release this clip. I don't know if you guys can see it. That clip right there. You just want to put it right there and then release this tiny clip that holds it right in there. Once you release that, just lift up the hard drive in 45 degree angle and pull it out. The jack is movable, it can rotate to up to 45 degree angle, so don't worry about breaking it. So in 45 degree angle. So this is your mechanical drive. It has a little uh, rubber caddy. So remove the caddy from the drive just by peeling it off. There's a little dent here that goes to the screw hole. And put it to one side and grab your SSD drive and place it right in there. All right, now make sure the SSD drive is in a correct position. The SATA is right on the left side inner and the power connector is on the right side. It has to match the connectors right here. And then you wanna just push it inward all the way in and then push it towards the top casing and press this jack all the way down so make sure it clicks down there. And pretty much that's it. And the next thing would be to just grab the top cover or if you connect it, disconnect your battery, go ahead and put it back in. Grab the top cover and push down, put down first the I.O. side. So bring it from the outer side towards the inside. So make sure you bring it inward. And then press it down, make sure it clicks in. And go all around. Go under the DVD, over to the corner, to the back side. If you see any gap, just pinch it. Grab your two hands and two fingers and just pinch it really hard, it will go back in. And one thing is to put back the DVD drive, slide it back in. And grab the bottom screw and place it all over the bottom cover. And that's how you upgrade your SSD drive on this uh, Lenovo laptops. And again, I hope you guys like this video. And if you did like and it helped you guys out, please click that thumbs up button and think about subscribing. And if you have any question or requests, please leave them in the comment area and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. And again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting this screws at the bottom.